Graduation Day is always a day of rejoicing, for it marks the conclusion and recognition to the most difficult part of our quest in life. Today is the day that signifies the culmination of many years of hard work and dedication of our children just to fulfill their promises and achieve their dreams in life. Even in this time of pandemic, our young children, together with their families and friends, eagerly continued their studies. We fight all together to conquer this war. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 53rd Graduation Rites of Americo Borja Elementary School with a theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic. To start, May request everyone to sing with us virtually the national anthem followed by an opening prayer and the division hymn. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
This message to welcome all the participants in this event. Help me to welcome James Alvin O. Bernadis with High Honors Pupil. It was not so long ago when I dared to dream and to take the first important step towards the fulfillment of my elementary education. To our guests, to the dignitaries from the Department of Education, headed by the school's division superintendent. Dr. Karen L. Galanida, CESO 5, Assistant Division Superintendent, Dr. Laila F. Danaki, CESA, Division Supervisors, Dr. Sami D. Altres, District Supervisor of District 7, School Principal, Ma'am Joris J. Erno, Barangay Captain, Honorable Danilo P. Reyes, Barangay Council of Barangay Trinidad, Surigao City, Teachers, parents, viewers, fellow graduates, a pleasant after a pleasant morning to all. After six long years of acquiring our basic education, we are now ready to move forward one step higher in the ladder of our quests to quarter level of educational heights. With the things that we learned from our teachers, we can say that we are now prepared to combat the battles that may come our way. But before we leave our alma mater, Enrico Borja Elementary School, we would like to thank the people who have turned us to what we are now. Let us thank God for His unceasing grace and guidance to our teachers for their immeasurable dedication, to our parents for their unconditional support throughout these years, 
and to our friends who walk along with us side by side. To all of you who in one way or the other help us become what we are now, our heartfelt gratitude. Because of you, we can truly say we made it. Congratulations fellow graduates. Thank you and mabuhay. My warmest congratulations to all the elementary graduates of school year 2020-2021 and my sincerest gratitude to all school leaders, teachers, parents, guardians, and partners for making this possible. I am happy that the pandemic has never stifled our spirits as we found ways to continue education amid the most difficult challenges to our educational system. Indeed, your graduation is a cause for celebration, not only because you have completed seven years of elementary education, but also because you achieved it at a time when everything turned upside down and the normal processes ground to a halt. In this context, your achievement becomes even more meaningful. Dear graduates, the best way to celebrate your triumph is to celebrate it with deep gratitude. Be thankful to those who have helped you succeed. Namely, first and foremost, to our Father Almighty, your teachers, your parents, siblings, classmates, friends, and the whole local community. They are part of your success. Without them, you will not be able to reach this far. May you also become an agent of inspiration to those whose hopes may have dissipated due to the vicissitudes of the time. Remember that you still have a long way to go. You still have a lot of battles to win. May the learnings and skills that you have gained during these past seven years become your weapon in winning the battle ahead. No matter how difficult it may be, love learning. Pursue your dreams and keep your hopes alive. The present may still be uncertain but you must remain undaunted because the future is just waiting for you. There, you will welcome every opportunity and take on every challenge that will lead you to an exciting adventure of self-discovery and growth. Pakuloy po, mga anak, sa pag-aaral natin. Kahit na modular yung ano natin, o kaya TV-based or video-based or kaya online or kaya offline learning, patuloy po tayo and we are assured na babalik din tayo sa mga. Remember that you are the future of Karata. You are the future of this nation. In you, we hope. In you, we trust. Once again, Congratulations to our dear elementary graduates of school year, the BATS 2020-2021. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. At the outset, let me express my warmest felicitations and congratulations to our elementary graduates for satisfactorily meeting the curriculum requirements and hurdling the most challenging school year in the history of this nation when we are made to surmount the challenges of this pandemic and to venture into newer and innovative mechanisms so learning would continue despite the odds. This pandemic has utterly changed the face of the world overnight and we cannot afford to just falter and succumb in total darkness. The theme Kalidad ng Edukasyon lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya, strengthening the quality of education amid 
the COVID-19 pandemic highlights the very significance of our schools as the ultimate giver of light. Amidst all the challenges that we face today, we have joined our heads and hands just to ensure that our learners are given their basic rights to inclusive and quality education while ensuring their utmost safety from the health risks of COVID-19. While we are advised to socially distance, but our sincere interest to secure the future of our learners has made all of us unified and closer together. Our national and local officials, business and private stakeholders, DEPED leaders, teachers and parents, and frontliners, thank you for the wholehearted support to our massive efforts for learning continuity in this time of pandemic and for fulfilling the messianic role to strongly build the future of our children today. With your glorious feet, I must say good luck, young men and women, as we send you to the world as embodiments of values, skills, and competences. Now that we have essentially equipped you in whatever battle of life, go and emerge victorious. And for the most highlighted event of this graduation rite ceremony, ladies and gentlemen, the presentation, recommendation, and confirmation of the graduates of the school year 2020-2021. To our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Laila F. Denake. To our District Supervisor of District 7, Dr. Sami D. Altres. As the school principal of Emerico Borja Elementary School, I have the honor to present the 24 males and the 18 females as a total of 42 candidates for graduation. They have satisfactorily completed the minimum academic requirements for K-12 basic elementary education curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education for school year 2020-2021. Dr. Karen L. Garanida, Schools Division Superintendent of the Division of Surigao City. Ably represented by Dr. Lila F. Danake, Assistant Schools Division Superintendent. Upon the presentation of the school principal of Emerico Borja Elementary School, Madam Juris Erno, I hereby recommend for confirmation these 42 candidates for graduation, 24 males and 18 females, who have satisfactorily completed the minimum academic requirement for the K-12 basic elementary curriculum, as prescribed by the Department of Education, Caraca Administrative Region, Schools Division Office of Surigao City, this school year 2020-2021. By the authority vested upon me by the Department of Education and by our school's division superintendent, Dr. Karen L. Galanita, in my capacity as assistant school's division superintendent of DepEd School's division of Surigao City, upon the recommendation of the public school's district supervisor and the school administration, and in the presence of our stakeholders in attendance today, our PTA, our LGU, our other partners, and the community members. It is my honor to confirm you learners as graduates of school year 2020-2021. Congratulations to all of you. The graduates. Alteso Checo P. Antaja Solito P. Apoli Harold R.
Bernadis James Alvin O. Veron Mac RG MLXP. Aryaga Ashley M. Damiano Marjorie. Damiago Ray G. Yelingan Jeros E. Eliosorio Cedric R. Jonathan Yu Laranjo James Tolsi Maxino Eduardo Montanias Jomar E. Aurelio Jesse B. Patos Al Rashid B. Petso Emerson G. Inaso L. Robes. Rabelo Ryan S. Revela Christian M. Zeranio Mark Adonis X. Solapas Darren J. William Ferti, Kian, Andrew C. William Mayor, Janet T. Absalon, Lorime A. Alabi Kisha Shane Balinket Jerry Iving L Pinigay Sentara Kalang Tanika Nova Kalimbo Rizel E Kaviti Jinalin D
the Miago Shane D. Duenas Elizabeth P. Duenas Eliza P. Escultor Renajin R. Gargal Idelin P. Gargal Trixie Jane A. Esta Pauline Christine Bell M. Ibaya Fabi and Tanan S. Lanjawan Angel S. Mosiko Gian P. Senorio Shobi G. A. The Academic Excellence Award is for school year 2020-2021. With high honors, Bernades James Alvin O. Ibaya Baby Antoinette S. With honors. Alabi Christian Shane Beron Mac RG Emilex P Guy Sanzara Kalang Danica Kaviti Jinalin D Gargal Trixie Jane A Mao Jonathan Yu Hesta Pauline Kersin Bell M Patos Al Rochade Naso Ali Rose Belia Berti Kian Andre C Belia Mary Jandev
I am honored to be given this opportunity to give a message in behalf of our school's division superintendent, Dr. Karen L. Ganimia. This year's theme for our year-end celebration, strengthening the quality education amid COVID-19 pandemic, is a call and a challenge for everybody who has the heart for our learners. It is a call and a challenge not only for our learners, not only for our teachers, not only for our school heads, not only for the education leaders, but for everybody who would like to give the best that they can, who would dream the best for our girls. There are things that we should consider so that we can in turn indeed strengthen the quality education amid COVID-19. Allow me to share some thoughts. First, we need to be united. Unity. United we stand, divided we fall. The same thing is true as we continue to deliver quality education to our learners. In spite of our differences in opinions, differences in preferences, differences in, in the ways that we want things to be done. But these differences will not hamper us from delivering quality education to our children. It is not reason that we should stop strengthening our quality education. We need to be united. We need to join hands so that our learners can indeed have the best quality education that they deserve, especially in this time of great need. Second, cooperation and support. We need each other. We need all of you for the successful implementation of the programs and projects of the department. Of education. It is, a, it is at this point that I would like to thank our stakeholders, our partners, the LGU, the non government organization, and other agencies, our teachers, our PTAs. You all have made our school year very successful in spite of the COVID 19. Thank you so much, dear teachers, for the sleepless nights and many sacrifices that you have given for our learners. In preparing the modules, in preparing for the activity sheets, in binding them, and in distributing them so that our learners can have a copy of their learning materials. And to our school heads, to our supervisors, both in the district and our education program supervisors, thank you very much for the technical assistance and support that you have given to our teachers. We need to cooperate and support each other because we cannot do it alone. We need all of you. Third, commitment. Cooperation and support and unity will be less meaningful if it is not coupled with commitment. During difficult times, it is our commitment, commitment to this endeavor that will see us through. It is the commitment that will keep us inspired and encouraged to do our part in this great task of educating our learners amid COVID. Fourth, faith. Faith in ourselves, faith in each other, and above all, our faith in God Almighty. We need to have faith in ourselves. We need to believe in ourselves. We need to trust ourselves. Each of us is endowed with great talents and abilities that will enable us to accomplish 
no matter how difficult a task will be. We need to believe in each other. We need to have faith in each other that they too, like us, are also endowed with great talents and abilities that will make a task possible. Above all, our faith in God. It is this faith that is the very strong foundation and anchor that will hold us still in spite of the many difficulties that we are surrounded with. It is this faith in God that will give us the strength of spirit and resolve to go on and continue with the task. It is our faith in God that will really see us through, especially this time of great crisis. As we end this year, please accept my warmest congratulations in behalf of our school's division superintendent, Dr. Karen L. Delaney. Let us be united. Let us cooperate and support each other. Let us be committed in our endeavor. And let us have faith. Faith in ourselves, faith in each other, and faith in God. When all these are present, I believe that no difficulty will be impossible. With these four, unity, cooperation, support, commitment, and faith, everything will be possible. Of course, with blessing and help from God. Again, congratulations to all of you. Congratulations, dear parents, for a job well done. Thank you so much and God bless us all. A marathon is not about winning. It is about completing. A marathon is not about rapid gains. It is about ability to endure. A marathon is not about the thrill. It is about stamina and skill, according to a marathon source author. From the instructional supervisors of the curriculum implementation divisions, cheers and congratulations to the amazing batch 2021 junior high school completers, elementary and senior high school graduates. You have made it through the most challenging, memorable, and adaptable year. Truly, a historic year for the second batch of graduates and completers in the new normal of education. We are all greatly impressed by your patience, dedication, hard work, endurance, strength, bravery, and resilience. Kudos again for all you have accomplished and for all that you will accomplish. Medals, certificates, and diplomas. This is what commonly comes to everyone's mind when we think about completion and graduation. However, behind the glorious glimmers of the tokens and awards, we come to see that the event is not just about receiving the rewards, for when it comes the responsibility and advancement in life. It marks another chapter of your colorful life, your wonderful journey, which is all along the way is worth celebrating and thanking for despite these challenging times. For this reason, I would like to sincerely express my deepest gratitude above to our divine providence for his outpouring blessings each day. To the super moms, dads, siblings, and guardians who patiently communicated with the school personnel, all for their love, care, sacrifices and support for the learners distance learning i salute and thank you all to the resilient teachers principals deputy officials and stakeholders who passionately and outstandingly perform their tasks and responsibilities with utmost commitment and dedication in honing and nurturing our beloved learners in spite of the rest brought by the pandemic I am indeed grateful. This year's theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, Lalong Patatagin 
sa gitna ng pandemya or a strengthening quality education amid COVID-19 pandemic challenge us to reflect and value the quality learnings and experiences gained from the school, teachers, media, home, and community. It taught us that learning comes in different forms of all ages and across the globe. I, it made us realize that there are many possible ways we could have extended and maximized learning for our Surigaonon learners. Ways we could never have think of and utilized of had not this pandemic occurred globally. And for that, I thank this pandemic for the blessings in disguise. I knew boredom, anxiety, longingness, depression, and stress sometimes strike in during the course of the distance learning. But let me remind you, dear graduates and completers, that the COVID-19 crisis we confront today does not only concern our local community, but encompasses the sphere of the group. What does this globalization then mean to you? As an individual in this beautiful planet, this can only imply that your actions can have a global impact. Your actions are like ripples in the water, echoing little waves throughout the big bodies of water. In the same manner, I want you to think about your dreams, the dreams you wish for the world to see. Whatever your dreams, aspirations, and goals in life, Wherever you live, no matter who you are, always remember that the world remains yours to shape. Shape it then by making it a better place to live so that you can live harmoniously with others. Now, you might think that your voices and actions might be not be inaudible or too weak to make an impact, but I want to share this to you. According to Michelle Obama, let me quote, You may not always have a comfortable life and you will not always be able to solve all of the world's problems at once. But don't ever underestimate the importance you can have because history has shown us that courage can be contagious and hope can take on a life of its own. Bearing this philosophy in, in, in mind, let us show the world how beautiful our dreams are. Let us prove once again to the whole humanity that our innate goodness and smiles are more influential and contagious than this global pandemic we currently experience. Once again, congratulations dear completers and graduates of BATS 2021. Go and spread your learning across the globe. Best wishes for all your tomorrows. Seek your new vistas. Dream new dreams. Embark on who you are. Embracing life with passion and keep reaching for your star. Our school's division superintendent, Dr. Karen Galaneda, says of five. Our assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Laila Danakis Sese, our school administrators, our dear teachers, graduates, completers, marajao karajao na buntag sa ijotanan. It is my great pleasure to congratulate the successful graduates, completers of 2021. Our dear graduates, completers, you have long anticipated for this day. Some with eagerness, some with anxiety, some with a complicated mix of emotions, but whatever you are feeling, you deserve to hold the keen sense of pride because you've made it. Every graduation completion is a celebration of an achievement. The challenges and chances met along the way sharpens and equip one to surpass the many crossroads of journey we call life. Education gives us the weapon to snatch the chances the beat the challenges. The journey was indeed tough for most of you. I understand there were a lot of humps and bumps along the way. Others seemed to give up because it was improbable to manage time for personal, school and family matters, especially at these challenging times 
where our faith was tested. Our, our dedication and hard work were all placed in a boiling pot as to whether or not we can make it through. But how you have aced it up and you have proven that today that you all can and have made it. I am truly proud of you. We all are. Certainly, all your loved ones celebrate with tremendous pride in you, your parents, your guardians, your brothers and sisters, relatives, and your teachers are happy and take great pleasure and satisfaction to see you as you accomplished and move on to the next step onwards greatness. The same is also felt by all the parents and stakeholders, partners and stakeholders of your school. I give everyone my resounding applause. This is a time for a celebration of your achievement and marks the beginning of an amazing journey ahead. You already have reaped the initial successes of your basic education. Now, as you move forward, do not forget to look back to where you have started and value the people who were there for you in your journey, who encourage you to believe that there is still so much that you can achieve. Live up with the ideals of your alma mater and forever protect its dignity and integrity. Take all what you have learned from the portals of it Work hard and use your gifts to your best ability, becoming the best that you can be, even if you sometimes fail, but never ever give up. Always find a way because that's what winners do. Constantly remember that every sunrise and even sunset offer sweet second chances to take because the only direction you can go from failure is up. Life doesn't stop with successes or failure. There will be a lot of successes and failures that you will still experience, but in the same way, more lessons to be learned. This year's theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya, strengthen the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. May this perfectly highlights the role of the K-12 basic education program in harnessing your skills and competencies in facing life's challenges for whatever it may be for you. I fervently hope and pray that your dreams and aspirations would give the best versions of your smiles of victories as you face and open the overwhelming doors of your opportunities as you continue on reaching for your dreams. Do not settle just in foreseeing your future. Enable it. Do not forget to make a choice and take chances in order to make a change. Once again, welcome and congratulations to this milestone and life-changing event. God bless us always. To God be all the glory and honor. Marajaw na buntag sa ato tanan. expression of joy and appreciation to the graduates of the school year 2020-2021. Congratulations on your well-deserved success. Henry David Toro once said, Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. We know that we are in these perilous times due to the COVID-19 that attack the world, destroy our lives, and even our economies. Lives nowadays become more difficult and challenging. But despite of all these things, you remain steadfast and persevere in your studies and comply everything that we required of you. As a result, you are now in this milestone, your graduation. However, this milestone is not the end, but rather a continuation for your next journey to high school. In Lao Tzu's adage, he said, The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. This is just the stepping stone for you to reach and realize your dream. Hope that this unforgettable moment inspires you to continue your education for you to have a better future. The diploma you have right now is a written testament attesting that you finished elementary. Handle it with care for it marks the sweat of your toil in the field of education. Aristotle stressed 
that the roots of education are bitter, but its fruit is sweet. This adage implies that during our studies, we encountered so many difficulties and problems, but once we graduated, we felt the joy, happiness, and even fulfillment of our success. Moreover, dear graduates, let me remind you to remember and be grateful always to all people who contributed much for your success today. To your parents, grandparents, relatives, guardians, neighbors, friends, to your teachers, school head, and even the people within your community who are always with you, not only in prosperity, but also during the difficult times of your life. Jose Rizal said, He who does not know how to look back at where he came from will never get to his destination. This year's graduation film, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic, reminds us to join our efforts together with our internal and external stakeholders to show our creativity and innovativeness to support the needs of our schools so that quality of education still be delivered and the safety and welfare of the learners are given much priority. Hence, dear graduates, let's not forget to express our gratitude to them, our parents, teachers, school heads, government officials, local government officials, NGOs, and our frontliners who are with us in one way or another to this dangerous journey of school year 2020-2021. Lastly, be thankful to the Almighty Father and offer to Him everything. Take note Proverbs chapter 3 verse 6 and everything you do put them first and He will direct you and crown your efforts with success. Again, congratulations. And now, join me to welcome with a virtual clap to Phoebe Antoinette S. Hibaya with high honors pupil for the representation of the awardees. Respected teachers, well-loved parents, fellow graduates, friends, ladies, and gentlemen, a pleasant morning to all of us. Every end has a new beginning. Today might be the last day for all of us. As pupils of the Mariko Borja Elementary School, but I believe our learning will actually start from today. Every little encounters and experiences gained here in school has been enriching and will remain within our memories for lifelong. We started our journey from kindergarten. This is very important as we learn to be more independent and organized. We learn new things from our teacher who worked hard on the foundation to make a better structure until we became the upper graders. This year's theme, strengthening the quality of education amid a COVID-19 pandemic implies how we love education and value our culture. No matter what religion we belong, no matter what status do we have, but still there is only one goal that will unite us with the help of the Department of Education. It is to educate and mold us. On behalf of the graduating class, we proudly thank all individuals who took part in this very successful day in our life, which we consider the most treasured individuals now and ever. To our beloved parents, family, teachers, friends, you molded and created us to make our own colors glow and wear those colors proudly. Thank you so much for the tireless efforts you all provided and supported us to become one true, smart, and value laden individuals. To our dear teachers, thank you for bringing us to the bridge of responsibility, taught us to be more responsible, taught us to accept our failures gracefully. Prepare us and lead us to the next battle. 
despite the many challenges. We are blessed to have you all. You touched our lives deeply. As my mother, who is also a teacher, who cares for me faithfully and unconditionally, to our alma mater, Mariko Borja Elementary School. Thank you for the opportunity you have offered to us and making us the person you want to be. To my fellow graduates, friends, thank you so much for everything. You have all helped my growing up experiences, so memorable and worthy. Thank you for the camaraderie as we sail together to our next journey. We always hold on the good memories and stand up decisively to the betterment of our lives. Let us celebrate this moment with graceful hearts, for the graduation today is our contribution to the future. And I hope that our dreams take us to the corners of our smile, to the highest of our hopes, to the windows of greater opportunities, and to the most special place our hearts ever know. Above all, I thank God for giving me life with strengths and weaknesses, which made me strong day by day. To one and all, congratulations. To God be the Lord. To give her message for this memorable event, let us welcome the school principal of Americo Borja Elementary School, Mom Juris Harabi Erno. School year 2020-2021 has finally come to an end. And by God's grace and through everyone's efforts and determination, we victoriously hurdled the challenges we encountered as we strive to impart knowledge and skills to our school children. Allow me, therefore, to extend my heartfelt gratitude and congratulations to the parents who share their time and efforts as we partnered in the education of their children. I know and I feel it. I ako nanay magsab sa mga my elementary sa nanay, my high school. Thank you for partnering with our teachers in training and educating your children to the modular learning. I also love my heart to our dear teachers who provided and supported in all aspects of learning. Thank you very much. Kaya kasi ako itong kabutangan ng pasalamat sa mga nanay, sa mga tatay, sa mga auntie, lola, lolo, sa mga teachers, and even sa mga barangay officials, sa community itself. Kaya ako ang ilatabang para lamang mahumantin at school year 2020-2021 for your commitment and for living up to the vision and mission of the Department of Education. My sincere gratitude and warmest congratulations to all of you for the job well done. To our partners and stakeholders, thank you, thank you, thank you. And to the graduates, congratulations and God bless us all. that stage with the cameras flashing they've been waiting on our day it's been a journey hasn't it i wouldn't trade a moment no i wouldn't change a moment
because of you Whether we've known each other our whole life Or just a year or two And I'm grateful Right here in this moment